Welcome back to Center Related TV. So I went to the card shop the other day, picked up a couple of cards, just wanted to show them off. First one being this Derek Carr rookie, Bowman Chrome. So it's probably, I paid like two bucks for it. It's probably worth about two bucks. It's one of those cards where maybe if he wins, you know, some playoff games, maybe it'll uh, kind of be worth something. Uh, maybe five, ten bucks down the road, make a couple bucks. But right now it's probably worth two to three. Second card, Andrew Luck rookie, uh, worth a dollar, paid a dollar. Um, it's one of those cards that's kind of interesting though because it's really hard to tell it's a rookie. It has this really small like rookie. Let's try to get the focus. But yeah, that little right corner, there's a little rookie symbol. Um, so like I almost passed it up, uh, you know, but for a buck, you know, Andrew Luck didn't really pan out, but still definitely a really cool card. Um, plus the name's kind of cut off a little bit on the bottom, so... Maybe it's a misprint. Uh, maybe that's just how they're printed. Uh, but for a dollar, couldn't pass it up. Next card I got, it's a little beat up. Paid a dollar. Shoeless Joe Jackson card. It's cool because it's in color. Diamond King. Um, so, I mean, this is another two, three dollar card. Sometimes it goes for like five bucks online. Next one, Ken Griffey Jr. from the year that he was on the White Sox. So, I saw a couple of sales on this. I paid three dollars for this. I saw one sale for like 99 cents. One sale for like five bucks six bucks something like that i'll put all the cells up as a white Sox fan you know griffey's a legend it's kind of cool that he came to chicago even if it was only for a little while um just definitely a nice car that i'll keep in my pc found this one for a buck um so there's a few different cells on it so um it's actually a variation so if you look on the bottom underneath white Sox, it doesn't say anything so it's like a no nameplate variation because it should say yo i'm Moncada, but it doesn't um, so it may go for a few bucks. Once again, I'll put the prices up. But anything for a dollar, even in, you know just a PC, it's a nice card. So I figured, why not? Next card, I did pay a little more for it. Um, so this is a dual patch out of '99. Carlton Fisk, Mike Piazza. Carlton Fisk is more known as like a Red Sox, but he also played for the White Sox. And Mike Piazza is probably one of my favorite players growing up. So you know, if you get both of them out of '99, paid 15, probably goes from where from 13 to 17 dollars, maybe 20 bucks if you're lucky. Um, but for a PC card, I figure why not. And then last card I got is this RPA Flawless of uh, Michael Kolpeck. Um, so it's out of 25, nice dual patch. So I know it doesn't have like the White Sox logos and stuff on it. Um, and that's why a lot of people don't collect Flawless. Uh, but to me, it's just a beautiful car. You can't get an RPA like this, a Michael Kopech, um, for that price if you're getting licensed stuff. So I figured, why not? Um, you know, he definitely hasn't been as good as I had hoped. He had a good season last year. But, now, you know, the White Sox in general struggled this year. But overall, I think I paid like $45 for everything. Um, you know, these last two cards being the big cards. Um, I probably lost a couple bucks if I, you know, sold everything. Um, but with most of them just really being PC cards, one being an investment, the other one kind of maybe I'll trade the Andrew Luck. Maybe someone will be interested in it. Um, but that's it for a little PC haul I did. Thank you guys. Have a good one.